Hey, it's Deus, back again with another Paint Shop Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to paint in Paint Shop. I know a lot of people don't use these types of programs to actually paint, but I'm going to show you how to do it. As you can see, we got a black and white sketch here, and here's the final product that I painted. Now, <clears throat> first thing you're going to have to do is you take your original sketch and you're gonna have to work with the lines and the white. This is a sketch by Rake. You can see his website right here. He's also an artist on DeviantArt DeviantArt.com Now, first step is you're gonna have to remove all the white from your sketch. Now you can do this with a filter or you can do this by just using the eraser or the background eraser or using the magic wand or the selection tool and quickly keep chopping out the white and you want it to be transparent like on this side <clears throat> I use a little shortcut a plug-in by Madai M-E-H-D-I you can google them and I use Eraser Genuine and with that filter I can just pick the color white and remove it by just clicking OK as you can see here it'll remove the white from the photo <clears throat> now after you've removed all your white your next step is to go over your lines unless you're lucky enough to have a really good dark inked sketch where the lines are completely bold and finished now when you go to do that you're gonna wanna use your pen tool and you're gonna wanna get in up close on the lines and really make sure they're like nice and finished I'll show you what I'm talking about like you're gonna wanna get real close on the image and just draw in or draw over the lines just quite simply you know I like using the pen because you can put it with the joint here and you can like do that you can bend it you see and I'll put the curve in for the lines for you now once you've gotten all your lines done and you've gone back and erased all the extra sketch lines as you can see there were plenty here before then you start your painting now the only thing to really keep in mind when you're painting is to make sure that all your colors are separated from each other and everything is on its own layer each individual color each individual item everything on the character or image that you're painting you're gonna wanna make sure is separate so you can work on all the colors independently the other thing you're what you're gonna have to do I mean you don't have to worry about painting in the lines really because you can just go back and remove the excess paint I mean you can do that one or two ways I like to do it the fine way where you just paint it in and then use the eraser to go back and paint erase the extra paint some people will do one color finish it and then flatten that color and then use the magic wand to select the area of the paint they want to remove. Now, once you've gotten all your paint down and placed on your character, you're going to want to do textures and things like that, like to make the paint 
these jeans look more like jeans and so on and so forth and in order to do that you have a couple of options you can use your paintbrush which is what I do and paint in the textures using like a fine hairbrush or a brush with like the type of texture you're kinda of looking for like a grain or like a powder you could also like use the fill the paint bucket and like just fill in a texture but it usually doesn't come out even and it doesn't really look like it fits the shape of the person like <clears throat> right here make the brush real tiny and I can make it like just white and like with just like a white green I can add like a bit of um how I can say like a shading to it you see and you can use finer and finer brushes and make the grain finer and finer and you can do this all over or if you want to add like a shine to like their skin or their hair like you see white in the hair here that too is separated like you see now the only other thing you're gonna to want to keep in mind when you're painting other than the obvious keeping each color and each detail on its own separate layer is that when you're done making all the paint fine and finished in the way you want and the textures you want on it that make sure your layers are in the order that you want the painting to look like like the way this looks right now if I were to go to flatten the layers here merge all and make it one solid painting I would just have to make sure all the layers are in the order that I want them in for it to look like this way because if I have layers in the wrong place it's not gonna reorganize them for you like you're gonna want it to be the visible look you want here when you flatten it that's the way it's gonna look so that's just something to keep in mind well that's the rundown key things multiple layers for each detail and color and that's really your biggest bet make sure your lines are nice and fine so they stand out over the image and there you have it that's how to paint